Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I mean, finally, it, it's, it's been like 10 months? No, uh, 9 months since I made the last update on the Lords of Magic content. And actually the, the frame from the beginning uh, has been on my desktop for um, yeah these 8 months basically. Um, or nine months, so yeah, I finally got back to the Lords of Magic content, slowly getting back into it, um, finishing with the air uh, faction. This time, the mage who also is a giant, I believe, in the in the uh, game. So he's, he's a giant by 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 race. Um, the, the one of the storm giants or one of the air giants basically and um the clothing is very simple he basically just has a rope um a cloak and a weird helmet and i try to emphasis on these things in the uh render so here i'm working basically the rope is just an adaption of the full body suit for genesis to male which i will not work with anymore because um, simply put, um, when I put uh, clothing on a character, on Genesis 2 female, I can resize them around the character. So basically I can, I can make them a bit farther from the, basically a bit, a bit wider, a bit more volume, or I can make them more skin tight, um, which can lead to clipping. But uh, this helps me, for example, prevent clipping, um, like in the last render. Um, on the last video you saw the top with the, um, the the uniform top and she had pants and over the pants she had the newly made um, um, boots and to have no clipping between boots and, and the pants uh, I could basically just increase the size of the boots by 10% so they basically just they look about the same size but they're actually like 10% bigger so they um, are um, not clipping with the um, um, with the leg wear with the pants and I for, for some reason I don't know why I cannot do this with Genesis to male maybe it's a special figure that I have for Genesis to female maybe it's a um, um, it's, it's some modification I have for this character that I do not have for Genesis to male, but I don't know why, but it doesn't work. So I have to make dew and this really sucks, so um, this is why I'm reluctant to work with Genesis to male in general and I will make the f rest of the characters with Genesis to female um, for, the, for the lots of magic content. Um, I can morph Genesis to female to a fully working male model if I want to, so um, this saves me a lot of time and um, yeah, makes it easier to actually fit all the stuff uh, on the character. Um, just as a general information, so even the male characters that are still to come, beard and all, will be modeled on Genesis to female because I can't be bothered to. Um, reset all the stuff in in the actual process so basically this making this set was about an hour maybe maybe 90 minutes but then seeing that everything fits on the character that um nothing clips that um even with the um morphs everything works without uh, problems took me like another hour or something because when i made the character buffer and it bigger then it started clipping when I gave the face a bit more detail and, and, and basically the, the, the bit elderly structure. Um, the beard started morphing so I had to touch up on the beard. Uh, just and just tiny pieces. Just tiny pieces. Just a little bit. But it adds up over time and this uh, was bothering me. Um, one of the reasons he doesn't open his mouth is also because um, the tip is just so little above the uh, mouth that it weirdly uh, moves. So this is why I have a closed mouth, basically. But yeah, um, I will continue with the characters working on Genesis to female. 
and there will be some male characters coming out of this. Um, yeah. Uh, also, I don't have the staff um, on the in in the in the video because I really did this like last minute. I was like, I'm, I'm going to do this without the staff, and when I made the first render, I, I thought, no, actually, I'm going to add the staff because it it, it needs. The, the character needs the stuff otherwise it just looks really simple and the stuff adds more uh possess more detail to it so i added this last second um yeah the character itself is not really that um complex or interesting uh, the clothing is really flat i'm trying to work with the original model here um the original model has some kind of thing where, that it wears in front of its chest like I don't know and I have no idea what it is. Is it is it a big amulet? Is it like like really big bling? I have no idea So I basically left it out because I wasn't sure what I was actually Modeling or what I would have to model um, It looks really weird and off so I just decided okay, I'm gonna leave it like it is and Not gonna do this um, But yeah um, this is why um, the model looks relatively simple, even though there's a bit more to it. Um, also with the staff, I looked at the models or at the, at the um, images of the staffs in the game, but I'm not really sure what the uh, what it's supposed to be. So I basically tried to model the staff after the thing that the character model has and it looks like it's a bird on the staff so I made a bird um, yeah made a bird um, I'm not even sure if the staff is actually wood or if it's something else but I decided to go with uh, traditional wood here um, because it works kind of um, yeah um, the uh, cloak is actually something that I have to put some time into. I actually want to uh, rig this cloak so that I can actually move it with the figure. Um, but yeah, we'll see about this later um, at some point. Um, yeah, and that's uh, basically it. So um, as you can see, I made the helmet and the... Uh, hair uh, together so this is an adaption of another hair style uh, that I originally made for Genesis 2 female that I then adapted to Genesis 2 male here um, and um, it's really not that complex so the, the 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 helmet is basically the most interesting thing that I made here um, I, I would I would say um, uh, and other than that, uh, the rest is fairly standard. Um, the helmet actually, I could have used the helmet of um, of the warrior and just uh, emphasizing it because they basically wear the same helmet. But I just made it from scratch because it was actually easier than working with the finished model and then altering this um, to this specifics. Uh, so this is why. Um, the model got a brand new helmet. Yeah, um, whenever I do the next one, it's gonna be the Thief of the Air. And then we have, I think, three uh, Faith maybe left. I'm not sure, I have to, have to count. Um, but yeah, we are... I'm, I'm back into the Lords of Magic content and I will hopefully finish that at some point. Um, yeah. That's it for this video. Um, this is the update. Uh, other update is my new work looks really cool. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, as anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe, and see you guys around.